and welcome back. In this next step, we're going to begin to get this part ready for designing the fixture that we're going to use to manufacture this part with Top Solid Cam. But to begin with, what I want to do is I want to set the datum or the main zero point of this part that we're going to use everywhere. Okay. To do that, first of all, I'm going to take a look in my entities tree here and find out where the absolute frame is. So when I designed this, I designed this based on the part print, if you recall from the last video, and I used the absolute frame down bottom center of the part because that is kind of what it looked like the print was calling for. However, I'm going to shift that zero to be where I want it for my manufacturing process and more importantly to simplify my engineering process as well. And to do that, I'm going to help or I'm going to create a zero at the dead center of this part geometrically speaking. Okay? And to make that simpler, I'm going to kind of cheat a little bit. I'm going to ask the software to create for me an enclosing block around that part. And you can see the enclosing block is a size for size, which is perfect. And now from there, I'm going to go ahead and go to my construction tab, and we'll go ahead and create a point, uh, frame by point and two directions. The origin point is going to be the midpoint between that corner and that corner. Perfect. Other than that, the x direction of this new frame will be based off the absolute x. The z direction will be based off of absolute z. Perfect. Or y will be y. The choice is yours. And like that, we now have this frame that's at the dead center. Now, I can't delete this because, again, Top Solid's a parametric software, so what I'm going to do is hide that shape, and now you can see my frame. And you'll see how I'm going to use this frame coming up in the next video. Uh, I'm going to use this frame to position the part in my assembly into four unique places. You'll see soon. But before we can do that, I'm going to take one last step, which is I'm going to ask the software to do what's called publishing the frame. And I'm going to call this part datum 1. Okay, so part datum one is just going to be the name of this published object. And really quickly, just to explain a publishing to you, in Top Solid, we have achieved true ultra lightweight assemblies. And what this means is when I include a part into an assembly via bottom up strategy, I am only including the visual representation of the part. None of the history, none of the construction geometry, none of it. And the reason for that is because we want assemblies to run very, very fast in Top Solid. We also want our designers using Top Solid to make good choices and only build relationships where it makes sense. So what a publishing allows you to do is it allows you to tell Top Solid, hey, when I include this object into my assembly, I want to bring with it this object and this object and this object. In this case, we're bringing with this frame. Kind of cool. So that's all I need to do there. I'm going to save that. We can leave it open or close it. Doesn't really matter. I like to close documents that I'm not working on. Just makes me feel better that I'm not modifying something on accident. Now I'm going to go ahead and build a new assembly. And here we're just going to use a standard out of the box assembly. I don't think I have any special templates for assemblies here. Nope. So we'll go ahead and hit our green check mark. And I'm going to call this four position fixture. Awesome. I'm going to start by showing my absolute frame. And then I'm going to make a pattern of my frames. In fact, I'm going to repeat this frame linearly relative to x. I want four of them, and I want a spacing distance between each of them of, I'm going to say, let's just call it distance equals six. Perfect. Now that we have that, you can see I have four equally spaced frames. I'm going to go ahead and hit save once. Lastly, I'm going to go ahead and bring my bracket in. I'm going to right click on it, edit it, oops, pardon me, edit positioning. I'm going to unfix that. First object is always fixed in top solid. So here you can see that there's that published frame. There's the frame I want to put it on. So I'm just going to use a simple frame on frame constraint. And like that, I've positioned the very first one. Next, what I want to do is position a copy of it. And you notice how I just grabbed onto the part and dragged and dropped a copy? Well, well, let me slow that down for a second. How did I do that? I held control on my keyboard, left click and held, and dragged and dropped a copy. I mean, how convenient is that? Now, again, I'm going to go frame to frame, and I'm done. Let's do it again. 
Now, in this case, instead of going to frame on frame, if you want, you can use the regular constraint wizard command here and just rotatively select the frame. That's holding your left button down. Tap your right button until it highlights. And like that, we have the frame. And again, I want to do this one more time. Now, some of you may be asking why I didn't just repeat the part. Well, that's going to become obvious here really fast. I'm going to go and edit my frame on frame. And about the x-axis, I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees because I actually, for these last two setups, want this part flipped over 180 degrees. And the reason why I made the frames the way I made them is it gives me the ultimate freedom to shift or rotate or do whatever I need to do for each position of this part. Now, last thing I'm going to show you. If I go to my entities tree here and I go to my parameters, remember I named a parameter called it distance. I can come here and say, let's make that seven. Yeah, that looks better. Notice everything just updated perfectly because that's the nature of parametric design. When you take the moment to capture your design intent and set things up correctly, it should simplify your life as you process any type of design change through that manufacturing process. That does it for this video. In the next video, we'll get working on that custom fixture.